Hi! So today I wanted uh, to take you with me on creating uh, resin pieces. As of recently I started making them, I actually made it only one time, not two times before. Both were really <laughs> successful. But this time I'm hoping to try some new techniques that I learned. So I'm very excited to try them out. I'm in my garage. <laughs> and I'm going to be opening the door so I get the ventilation so you will hear a lot of extra sounds. Uh, so this is usually my painting station. It's quite a mess. And these are some of the molds that we're going to be making today. So let's start. Putting silicone all around the edges for a quick release later. I've used this mold before, that's why it's a little messy. <laughs> All right, so here's our resin. And I mixed in resin and a hardener together and I've mixed it for exactly three minutes until it's a complete substance. All right, it has a little bubbles, but we will get rid of that. So now we're gonna pour it in. So now you see we have a lot of bubbles and for that we're going to use a torch. Just a quick release of the bubbles with the torch. Don't be scared. This is basically where you need to have your face away. Because you are evaporating resin. So that looks good enough I think. And you can actually see my, <laughs> my reflection in this. Alright, so now we're going to start dropping. I do have these really cool sparkles, so I'll put a little bit into one of them. You can virtually put anything you want in these. So since we have purple flakes here, I'm gonna go with white and purple for this one. And now the magic starts, so we'll start dropping. So then we will come back to this in a couple of minutes and I will mix some things up here, okay? Let's do the next one. Ooh, we have a big bug. So this one we have chocolate brown. give it a blue tail. Let's do this. We're doing this guys. So now here's the trick. You can actually use a toothpick and move things around, which is what we're going to be doing, I think. Let's start with this one. Okay. Okay. And then with this one, I'm going to put a little drop of silicone. Should I? I kind of want to. So I'm doing this on this one. And I'm hoping that it's going to create again like this shapely tail thing. I'm really contemplating of putting that in here too. Maybe just one. What do you think? Maybe just one. This one keeps to keeps growing, it seems, which is good. It's something that I wanted anyway. One more drop. Should I? Yes. Okay. I will put the one drop right here into purple one real quick. I can't believe I'm seeing yellow or something like that. Don't know what that yellow is about. <laughs> okay. I 
I like this one just the way it is. I'm not going to touch it. Whoa, that's awesome. Holy crap. Wow. I'm going to put that here now. Dude, that looks dope. Oh my goodness, that looks awesome. Okay, well we have brown, black, and blue. Let's do yellow. I say yellow. Let's see how far that goes. It's really cool. Oh my god. So we're literally opening it up. <laughs> okay, so this is number one. This is number two. And number three. All right, so now I'm gonna do these jam looking ones. It's actually candy mold, <laughs> but I will try it. I'm not even sure if it's going to work out. Um, this time my resin has created this enormous amounts of bubbles which I call bubbles dream killers because they're really gonna ruin my whole pieces I already know it but because resin is quite expensive I'll have to give it a try anyway so after mixing it became bubble nightmare Okay, so this is very, very disappointing. Very disappointing, but let's try. So I'll do this very quickly. It's gonna be just a trial then, just a tester. That's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna make a couple of just white. Okay, another combination we did not try is blue and purple. So let's do that. Blue. Blue is squirting everywhere. Oh my god, purple as well. Oh my goodness, what is it doing? This one's still going to town, look at that. I don't have a yellow. Okay, so I'm doing just yellow. Okay. So now, just to try things out, I'm going to mix up um, some of these white ones. And I'm going just to make a cloud Okay, might have been too many times. This one I'll just do one loop under. Good. Oh, that looks gorgeous actually. Pretty good. <sighs> then, <sighs> mm. I want to drop still silicone a little bit. So maybe I'll, I'll drop a tiny bit. I literally will just put it on the tip here. I'm putting a little bit of silicone on the tip. And I'm going to dip it here. Into this corner run. Okay. And we'll see what works out in that one. I will also put a little bit of silicone 
onto this one. I'm just going to do a loop with that one and we'll see how that works out. Okay. I do want to do more things with these, honestly. Okay, so I think with this blue one, create a little bit of this. Just over the top. And one dip. Okay. And I might do similar with this thing. Oh, it's actually doing its own thing. And here too. Okay. So I think that's enough of all the silicone for today. No? Looks quite promising. Okay, let's see what it turns out to be like tomorrow morning. Okay. So it's the next morning and this is what all of this looks like now. Okay, so now we're going to try and unmold these. I hope it's going to be easy. It's quite a pleasant thing to do. Pardon my nails. <laughs> I think unmolding is quite a pleasant experience. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to use this for yet, honestly. Not a clue. Most likely we'll just keep them. Maybe I'll find out something, I don't know. Maybe I can glue them together, make like a sun catcher. A lot of bubbles though. So this is just a, um, a fun hobby. I don't do this often because I don't really like the fact that it's resin. Um, it's basically plastic. This one's really pretty. also good as handles maybe on like um, closet doors or dresser or something it's okay these are okay but not like super impressive that's the bad one okay so now we're going to take a look at the big guys here yeah let's start with this one it's gonna be Super pleasant to unpeel this. Look at this. Oh, so pretty. Um, so these ones people usually use as coasters, or you can attach them all together onto a painting on the wall and create like you know 3D kind of art. Or um, you can cover it with the heat resistant um, epoxy and make it um, again like coasters maybe. I do really like all of the little pieces here, little flyaways. This kind of cloudy spot right here is cute. It's just interesting. I don't have too many of them. It's again, I just was kind of trying it out. Oh. So we spent a lot of time last night on this one. And um, it's a little blah. It 
it's okay, but nothing really extreme. It looks kind of like cracked crystal a little bit, like not a super intense amethyst. <laughs> so, yeah, so the silicone kind of opened up parts right here a bit more throughout the night, made it more see through. I kind of like that though effect. And here's our last one. So pleasant, oh my goodness. Okay. Hmm, this one's quite interesting. I like this one a lot. Not enough of white. I was pretty sure we had a lot of white, but it ended up mixing with other colors. Oh my goodness, it looks like a jellyfish. This one, this one kind of looks like jellyfish as well, maybe. It looks like moss. <laughs> and just some like wispy cloudiness. Okay, so here's a look at all of them I like these ones I really wish they were not um, didn't have that many bubbles in them but they do here's a closer look real quick they turn out okay. A lot of bubbles. Oh, so many bubbles. I hate that. And then we got our Petri dishes. I like both sides of these. Interesting against the light. <laughs> okay, well, it turned out fine. But I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. I can't really do these too often, but it was fun. Thanks for watching.